you, Sydney? Good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. That's good. Let me turn you up. Come here. Say hi, Bentley. Oh. <laughs> he is a miniature patient. He's so cute. Yeah, I just got him. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. A little tired, but yeah, That's okay. we're making it work. I yeah. love your hair. Thank you so <laughs> much. I love your hair. Thank you. Okay, so where do we get started? What's your position in Eyes On Magazine? Right now, I'm a writer. Gotcha. Um, yeah. I, these are my first time doing these interviews, actually. I'm used to just writing and being behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's definitely been fun. That's good, that's good. Perfect. All right, so what inspired you to start Herbal City? My health, actually. So, um, I, does, I don't come from a great, you know, bloodline of healthy people. So I noticed my health starting to get really, um, just less progressive or um, I just became unhealthy at a young age from working at the post office and dealing with um, things that strain my body down to where like my immune system weakened really fast as a young age, at a young age. So I just started investing in my health a little bit more and skincare was one of those things, but I also ate better. I became a pescatarian. Um, and I even went vegetarian at one point. So it was just me overall getting healthy and wanting other people to do it along with me by providing the service of a healthy skincare because people don't understand skincare and using the wrong skincare for a long time can affect and have health issues upon your, your health. So that's what I wanted to do is spread awareness that, you know, we need to get back to our, our natural roots. That's dope. Uh, how long have you been working on Herbal City? I've been working on Herbal City for almost three years now. It's been a very, very long time. I Although I started the actual skincare part two years ago, but mm -hmm. Herbal City has been around for three years. Um, what would you say is the most highly purchased Herbal City product? The Seamoss Serum, of <laughs> course. Like everybody loves it, including myself, including uh, infants, elderly. It doesn't matter what skin type you have. It doesn't matter what skin color, gender, or anything. You're able to use that Seamoss Serum. And that's what I feel like is why it's so high selling because mm -hmm. anybody, it's universal. Anybody could use it, even pets. We love a universal product. Yes. <laughs> Uh, when starting Herbal City, what would you say were the trials and tribulations? Mm. Trial and error. You know, like, I didn't know how to make skincare when I first started. I was, a, uh, am good around the kitchen, so it was in the sense of, you know, being in the kitchen, creating a recipe, and seeing the long-term effects of it. So it's kind of just with, like, food. Me drinking a smoothie every day for three months improved my memory by putting kale and spinach in it. So in in the sense of what you intake internally, externally is the same way. So when you put um, CMOS serum on your skin, you will develop a healthier, balanced, more moisturized skin than having eczema if you did have that condition. So what, what started me to like get in the process of doing all of this and everything. I just kept on going. I just kept on creating a new product every single week um, until I had all these collections that I do have. It's crazy. That's awesome. Uh, what would you say that you've learned from your business through the pandemic? I learned how to multitask on a on a higher scale because when the pandemic hit my business went haywire it went so crazy so learning how to keep up with orders you know like my customer service was never bad but it definitely got better you know maintaining my sanity <laughs> definitely um because even when the pandemic hit even though businesses did go crazy the post office lacked 
So it was very frustrating um, in learning how to keep my composure and explain to my customers. Better, commu better communication with my customers is also one of the things that I did improve in and I did learn because um, people were frustrated. They didn't care that the post office was down. They didn't care that, you know, so it was me trying to give them information for them to understand, to know that, you know, this is not how I do business. So it was good and hard at the same time, but I definitely learned a lot about just business in general and how to um, handle things under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, that's great. But uh, pivoting off of that, what are four tips you can give to an upcoming entrepreneur in the natural skincare space? One, always say professional, you know, anybody, you could be talking to anybody or anybody that knows anybody, always say professional and sweet, you know, don't get walked all over by your customers, you know, don't do that. Just explain to them in a, in a manner that they would understand with a little bit of sass, you know, um, number two, learn your inventory, learn what you need to have in order to not have orders on backtrack. Um, three, fast shipping is very, very important. I ship every single day. Don't matter. Unless I'm holding on something, I might make you wait another 24 hours. My bad. But, you know, fast shipping is a key to uh, a lot of people's heart and pockets. <laughs> you know? Um, four, maintain a healthy balance between personal and business. That's very, very important because I often catch myself going crazy, getting anxiety of things not getting done. But you know what? It's my nine to five and it's going to stay there. You know, I'm not going to intentionally bring the work home so I can drive myself more crazy. So learn balance between what you need to learn balance. So. I hear balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how has Herbal City changed over time? Ooh. Oh, it definitely changed. My photography skills got better. So I do everything by myself. My photography got better. My The product itself got better. The, the consistency, I would say, is one of my most prized possessions and outcome that I am really proud of because being consistent and have a consistent product is very important when it comes to skincare. Nobody wants something different every single time they receive the same product, you know? They want these same things. So um just being really consistent and um effective my product has become so that is one of my like ah, like moments <laughs> speaking of effective products uh what are the top issues your consumers face when it comes to their skincare Mm, dry skin, definitely. I feel like everybody in a way has suffered from dry skin, no matter what. You can just bathe too much. You're in a climate that is so dry, like in Vegas, um, and just you not applying moisture when it needs to be applied. So I feel like everybody in the world has suffered from dry skin and sensitive skin. The older we get, the more sensitive our skin gets. So everybody suffered from those two things mainly, and I feel like those are my top two um customers that really like truly live by my product because my product do help with eczema dry skin and also my product is very gentle as well simple ingredients i like to keep it you know you don't need so much to over process your skin so those would be my top two um things uh what is herbal city's mission and what are your goals my mission is to show everybody that health is the way Natural is the way, vegan, vegetarian is the way. That is, I wanna open up the eyes to people that don't believe this, that people that, okay, me using a natural product is gonna save me somehow from cancer. And they, they don't believe it, but I want to like help people understand how balanced we should be and how natural as human beings we, we should become. And what was your other question? What are your goals? So the mission oh, and goals. My, my goals, I have a lot of goals. Um, my end game is to become a teacher, to teach people who are unhealthy. Like I figured, I found out, like I felt that there was no way for me to get back healthy. You know, like I didn't think, I didn't know about holistic healing all of five years ago. I didn't know anything existing like that. So I want to, my end goal is to have wellness centers and teach people the way of life naturally. 
How do you feel that tech and social media has influenced your business? It influ- I mean, my business is really based off of tech, Instagram, reels, photography, um, phones, all that stuff. It's definitely a greater connection. I knew that I had to get a product to sell online before anything. Um, and anybody can purchase, well, in the United States. So for my product to get seen over in California, Texas, New York, everywhere those places that i can't physically be at that definitely changed i mean everybody's um perspective of okay it's not out of reach my product is in reach you know like you can purchase it i have fast shipping so that's what i feel like has that's why it's it's very important for me to run my business on social media or electronically um to get to people that can't physically be here with me uh, what should customers keep their eyes on next from Herbal City? Hmm, I am coming out with a dog care line. Um, I feel like dogs have skin too. <laughs> they definitely do, but that's like my next big thing for um, my customers. Cause I know a lot of my customers, even though it's not actually for my customers, everybody loves their dog i love my dog um so that's like the next big thing is like um animal care that's awesome i really was not expecting yeah like i wanted to do this for a while i definitely wanted to do um dog care for a very very long time never had a dog to really do it with and show my work but i've been wanting to do this for about a year now only because I mean, my product can be used for anybody. Like I wash him up with my sea moss wash all the time. He loves it. Dogs actually suffer from dry skin more than anything. So it's very important to keep them hydrated and um, and things in that nature. But that's like one of the biggest things that's happening with Herbal City right now. That's great. That was actually our last question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's fun. I'm really, you know, I really, uh, I'm here for the products. I've yeah. been on for the Instagram. <laughs> Have you used anything? I haven't, but I definitely want to try. Um, you mentioned dry skin. I have dermatitis. I'm mm-hmm. here to try everything. All of that? Yeah. No, it's, I have probably about like 50 items. There's so many, but the CMOS one definitely is a major hit in life. Honestly, I'm I before we got on this call I was debating if I should go wholesale. So like really just wholesale, but I felt like I want my brand to be out there so much. And it sounds a little selfish, but I do I am considering wholesale uh for others. It's not that's why I didn't mention it. Because yeah. it might not happen. I'm still deciding to where like, you know, they can resell my product. So um that's that's a thing that I'm like trying to figure out if I really want to do and honestly it'll make things a lot easier and I would probably make a, I'd be a millionaire by the end of the year That's for such sure. a thing. yeah it is a big thing so it's either I give my company up for wholesale or or I keep some items and do some items wholesale I don't know yet but that is I am still deciding I mean it's a lot of paperwork to go through to change a lot of things and lawyers are required and it, it's it's a lot so we'll see I can if, imagine. That, if that congratulations happens congratulations on everything thank the products you. look amazing thanks it's it's been a long time coming i mean my labels everything a lot of things have changed in my in my business i've definitely grown a lot like i want to do a, a reel to show people where i started and then now and stuff like that because i finally have a warehouse but Thank you so much for this meeting. It was so much fun. I love talking. It was so great talking to you. Hi, my name is Herbal City. Oh, wait, let's do this all over again. (laughs) I call myself Herbal City, but my name is not Herbal City. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, everybody. My name is Sydney Moore, owner of Herbal City. Keep your eyes on our interview for Eyes On Magazine. Thank you guys for having me so much. It is an honor. I am happy to work with you guys. Look out for my eyes, my products and my eyes on box. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.